So in this video, we gonna learn about chain isomers. So different in length of parent chain, or if length of principal carbon chain remains same, then length of side chain changes. So these are called chain isomerism. Either the principal carbon chain or parent chain length changes, or if the principal carbon chain remains same, the length on the side changes. That is also in the category of chain isomers. So here it is a hint. Never do branching in terminal carbon. So this is a mistake. If you mistakenly by by mistakenly do the branching on terminal carbon, and it it's not a branching actually. It is the extension of principal carbon chain. So that you should not do. Now let's see. If we talk about alkene, if we talk about alkene, so minimum four carbon. For an alkene, needed to show chain isomerism. So we want to generate a chain isomerism in alkenes. So one, two, three, four. Minimum four carbon is needed. And here, if now if you see, it is this isobutane, and it is butane. So these the relation between them is these are chain isomers of each other. Now we talk about alkene, alkene. So in case of alkene, minimum four carbon is needed. So one, two, three, four carbon we needed. Now from that we can produce this is butene and this is two methyl propane. One, two, three. Here two methyl. Then it is propene. It is two methyl propene. So minimum four carbon is needed in case of alkene. If we talk about alkyne, now alkyne it needed minimum five carbon to form. Chain isomerism. Like if if you talk about if we try four carbon one two three four, and now if you put uh, this part methyl group over here, so now if we see this is not possible because here the valency of carbon is five, which is not possible. So if we talk about how many minimum carbon need then for an alkyne to show chain isomerism, so it is one two three four five. So minimum five carbon is needed. Now, if we talk about the substituted this alkyne, so one, two, three, four. Here, yes, here the length of principal carbon chain is made up of four carbon atoms. So, minimum five carbon is needed for an alkyne to show chain isomerism. If we talk about in case of alcohol, now in case of alcohol, we will be needed four carbon. So, it is one, two, three, four carbon are in principal chain in case of alcohol. This. If we talk about one, two, three, one, two, three, and here three carbon chain, three carbon in the principal chain, three carbon atom we have. So that's why this is also alcohol. So it needed four carbon. So that's how we form the chain isomers in case of alcohol.